Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl DazzleMe77 and I am back with another video. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is a what's up with my planning video this week. I'm trying to figure out, well, let me go back. Thank you guys for viewing this video, first of all. I know a lot of you come to my channel for purse-related content, but I just want to add in a couple of different things. Number one, because I've noticed on my purse journey here lately, I have been getting in my bags and staying in them. Um, one of the things I think is because I'm really concentrating on bags that fit my lifestyle and just go with the flow. So the need for me to constantly switch is kind of decreasing. I know that probably is not good news for a lot of you guys, but I still will be bringing you plenty of purse-related content. Um, I've just been really busy and my focus really has been on my planner and my journal. Um, it has given me so much peace and so that's why I decided to share with you guys this content because I don't know who else is at their po this point in their life where... You love your bags, you love everything that's going on with your purse collection, but there are just certain things that you need to key in on. And for me, I need a little bit more balance and clarity on some of the things that I'm doing. And this has definitely been the great vehicle for that. So without further ado, let's get into it. This week, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about some stuff that I switched over. And I'm going to be showing two weeks of weeks that I've already done in my journal, okay? Um, and y'all see those two little goodies up there? We'll talk about those too. So get you a little snack, get ready. Y'all know Dazzle always got story time when it gets to planners, so let's go for it. First of all, I am loving this dashboard. I said that I was going to switch out dashboards pretty frequently, but I haven't. Um, this just is so bright and so pretty. Um, I just love it. And again, I got this from Jane's Agenda. I do think she still has it in stock if anybody else was interested in getting it. But it is just absolutely gorgeous. And especially paired with the items that I have over here. Um, these tabs that have the numbers on them that coincide for me with the months. I also purchased those from Jane's Agenda. If you look at the top, without me knocking everything over, you see this little today marker. I did get that from Jane's Agenda as well. And we're going to take that off so we can start this video. So she has several today's um, page markers. This one is just so pretty. Um, and that's the website. Um, my stickers, for sake of this video, I will show you the sticker books that I use to come up with what I have. Um, you all know I absolutely love, love, love my Miss Anika's. Um, her books are just so beautiful and I love them. So for this page setup, this is for this week. I am a little behind. I just finished it, but I wanted to go with like a 4th of July theme without it being so festive, if that makes sense. And these girls are definitely delivering. She is at the 4th of July cookout, belly out, because why? She's been in the gym working that body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So she has been working out. She got her shades on there, and it is the day off for her. So she is enjoying herself. Miss Lady up here, she continues with her little short cut-off midi shirt. And it's payday for her, yes. It is payday, hair free, jacket. She's ready to go out and explore. And again, you guys, this is my journal. So in my journal, because historically I have been a functional planner. And if you guys don't know what that means, a functional planner is someone who plans, but they don't use a lot of these stickers. They might have a couple of key stickers or sticky notes, but for the most part, functional planners just write in their planners. So this is not not my planner. This is my journal. So in here, you will find that I decorate, but I'm also leaving a lot of room to write. 
this has been so nice for me. Um, I can show just peeps of stuff. Um, so y'all can see without sharing all of my private business. You see, I do write a lot in my journal. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent layout for those of you that are struggling to start journaling and again. One, because I've said it before, is that you have designated spaces for each day and you do not have to get long and elaborate. Some people feel like when you journal, you have to write a lot. Sometimes it's just simply how you made it through the day. Or I like to focus, like say for instance, I'm having something challenging at work. It may be a coworker, it may be a project that I'm working on, and maybe all this week, all I really want to fo focus on in my journal is how I overcame that. Maybe Monday, you know, I was overwhelmed with the amount of work left to do on this project, but I got a lot of it done. Tuesday, my coworker and I are not seeing eye to eye on how we should move forth with this project, but I'm still doing okay. And so I say that sometimes it can be an exact thing or it could just be how you're feeling. If you're going through a rough period in your life, a lot of us are in that period where we're raising our children, but also maybe caring for older parents. I'm super tired today. I was able to work out today, maybe on Tuesday, I was able to work out, but still feeling pretty tired. Wednesday, I was able to cook a meal, but I'm still tired. So a lot of times, this is just your way to de-stress because a lot of times we de-stress with our friends or either our partners, and that's good. But I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I don't want to feel like I'm overloading them with my burdens, if that makes sense. So that's where my journal comes into play. And then at the bottom, I just have a box. Y'all look at those glasses with the hooray on there. Um, I just thought that was so cute. So this is my 4th of July week layout, and I love it. Now, I will tell you guys, I do share this portion of my journal before the pen. So there's going to be a lot of things that I do include on here that I include on my planner, like birthdays, appointments, and things of that nature. Because sometimes just dependent on what my week is like, I don't even remember. Prime example, I'm getting ready to show you. I usually like to plan the week before the week comes out. So I like to plan Sunday for this week and then Sunday for next week. This weekend, I know I pretty, I pretty much have a lot to do. So I've already worked on next week and I'm going to share it with you guys because y'all, when I tell you this is laid out, wait, before I show you. So this is the book that a lot of these dolls came out of, The Art of Becoming the Shades of Blue by Anika. Um, love this book. As y'all can see, I've taken a lot of stickers out already. Also, giving credit to the paper studio, I did take a lot of stickers out of here as well. Um, I took some out of February for the numbers because I wanted the numbers to kind of contrast the dates. Um, and these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday stickers actually came out of her The Art of Becoming Summer Adventure. In the back, um, she did give us, see, you have your days of the week. So I would love for Miss Anika to do just a book of just numbers, different colored numbers and different colored dates. That would be so nice. So, so, so nice. But that's where this came out. Are y'all ready for this next layout? Because when I tell you it is fire, it is fire. So again, we are in my journal. And in my journal, I like things that inspire me, right? When y'all see this, y'all are going to be like, oh, <laughs> y'all look at this. So with this right here, I did not have to do a whole lot with this. Um, The washi, 
the little polka dot washi. I do not know where I got it from. I have stickers in my collection from years and years and years ago. Um, but the dates, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those are from Anika's. And those stickers are also from this particular sticker book right here which I got from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. Um, and they have those little dots. That was the one I showed you before. These stickers right here, I actually was able to get this right here from Live Love Posh. She had a really nice sale and I was able to secure this sticker book. And I wanted, as you can see, I took the stickers off. I wanted this book specifically for these stickers. I just think they are so pretty and vibrant. Look at that. This is a translucent, and y'all, uh, let me just take this page out so y'all can see her. Y'all already know that's an Anika sticker. Look at Miss Ma'am. Look at Miss Ma'am, even down to her bracelets. Say what? Yes, so I am getting ready for a very special occasion in my life. My husband and I will be celebrating our wedding anniversary soon. And you know how you always have those goals, like I'ma lose weight by this, I'ma do that. My husband's not really into that as long as I'm happy. But I wanted to play with some makeup so the night of our anniversary, I could look really, really nice. He doesn't really care for makeup, but I just thought it would be something different. So this is one of the reasons why I got this cutie. And this is just leading up to our anniversary. So it's not this particular week, but I just thought it would make such a pretty layout and I was waiting to use that sticker. I was going to use this sticker for like a dashboard, but I was like, I'll buy another one if I want it. But this sticker is so fire, y'all. Look at that. The detail in her hair, her earrings, her nails, just so pretty. And then I have a goals box here. I will go back and write. Like I told you guys before, I do go back and write um, in here. I put birth dates and all of that. But the good thing is this week is done, okay? So this is for next week. So I will, I don't know if I will be bringing planner videos every single week, but I know you guys like them and I'm so thrilled that you do. So this was my journal for the week starting on the first. So let's start talking about this. So you guys remember, y'all see the pen is gone. I still have this inside of here. So for the month of June, I started utilizing this for my planner and it worked really, really good. But for some reason, this layout I just felt like it was maybe a little bit too much for me. And so I had started looking at the Happy Planner Classic Skinny, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like because I did, if you watched my haul video, I did go out and purchase those and I'm gonna show you my setup along with some other things that I did. So here it is. This is the Notique uh, Travel Wallet cover. I'll have the exact name down below. And again, you guys know I'm a Notique affiliate. If you would like to support me on this adventure, please use the links below. Um, it just helps me um, be able to have a couple of coins to go towards more products so I can showcase them here on my channel. All my products that I purchase or show you in this video have been paid for with my own money. So this particular one is the Saffiano with the rose gold notique on it. I haven't did any decorating in here because I was just trying to get her set up. Now, I did go with the Happy Planner, the one that had the oranges versus the butterfly. And if you notice, this is on the inside. I am a stickler for simplicity. And so I'm always known to flip the covers and use the inside because the inside is usually plain. I use that for the outward cover. But this is the Happy Planner 
uh, classic skinny. So it's the same as a regular classic size happy planner, but cut in half is essentially all it is. I have not put my name on it yet, but I will. You have your two year calendar there. And then we begin with July. Um, I have not written anything inside of here because I just wanted to get it set up. But if you notice at the top, I do have the this week. This is one of those page um, flags that came from Jane's Agenda as well. Yeah, she has such great quality items. So this is how this is set up. And I will be honest with you, it won't be a lot of stickers in here. It's going to be what I need to do, where I need to go, what work stuff is going on. And I like that a lot. So my journal is for me to write down my thoughts. This is just keeping it moving. Even with me going to the gym, I write down the gym, pick up so-and-so. This is going to be notes only. I'll probably update you guys on how this is going maybe a month out um, because I am making myself stay in this setup for 30 days, at least 30 days before I switch, okay? or hopefully I don't have to switch. I know some people only keep three months in at a time. That does not work for my lifestyle. And so I had several of you ask about how I set up my planners. I always have my planners for 12 months and that's because I do plan ahead. I do not like waiting for the last minute to plan for vacations, birthdays, any of that stuff. So it's important for me to have the months ahead. Even for work, when I'm planning out stuff, I need to have more than just three months in. So I do have 12 months inside of here. And then as you can see, I have some dividers here. One says important, bills, planning, shopping, and then paper. So I made these myself and I'll insert a little picture. Um, I wanted some dividers. I have some clear ones, but what I noticed about the clear dividers is like if I'm doing videos or I'm showcasing something, as soon as I flip to that section, you're going to be able to see everything that I have there. I don't like that. Um, so I made these myself with some cardstock and lamination paper. I'm not crazy about these tabs, but I'm going to leave them from now. I think I'm going to switch them and make them top tabs. And I may get some that don't even jut out as far because when I have it closed, that's sticking out. I would love for it to be just like these, okay? But I had fun with the colors, as you can see, and the patterns. So I have um, I have a little cheetah print. I did polka dots. And then, don't want to show you that. Then I did roses, okay? I hope that didn't show. Anyway, I'll blur it out. But I did do that, and I made six of them. So a lot of the stuff when you want to personalize, you can do it yourself. These little pages I did get from Happy Planner. And I'm one of those ones when they have a sale, I stock up um, because I don't like paying full price for Happy Planner items. In the back, I do have, this is so cute, you guys. So you remember I was telling y'all about those pockets? So this one says receipts here. And so when I'm out, I could put my receipts here. And then this one says pay the bills. So if like how the other day I had to go get my glasses or stuff done, I could put my prescription in here, cash, whatever I want to put in here and leave it. This one actually was the one that I used. I just haven't had time to take all this stuff out. So I left it in here. Again, this is the front of that journal. But like I told you, I flipped it. I always put one of these in the back so the pages in the back don't get all ripped up and messed up. So this kind of just protects and that's what it is. I'm going to add my gift cards and all of that kind of stuff back here. So when I go out, this is all I need. Okay, so that is my planner. Okay, and if you noticed... Um, I have this one set up. This is so 
disregard these are the the little dividers i was telling you about and you see they're clear so if i have something written there i don't want anyone to see as soon as i flip over it they're going to be able to see it so that's kind of the reason why i like the black um dividers that i got from jane's agenda with the numbers on it because they kind of give me a little bit of privacy in here what i do is as i finish my bills and stuff like that those sheets after i mark them off i just put them in here so this right here is basically household stuff bills as i pay it all of that so the sheets that are in here will come in here okay so that is all that I had to share with you guys this week regarding my planner and my journal. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've had several, several um, positive things about these videos, several questions that people wanted to ask. I do think I am going to do a video because my inserts are from Happy Planner. I am going to do the difference between dashboard, vertical, and horizontal. And I'm going to tell you one of those um, layouts I just cannot get with no matter how much I try. But I'll share that with you guys then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below so we can talk about it. And always remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself. Because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.